Hello, 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 good day mga mams and sir. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. So again, this is Mom Sheena. And for today's video, I'm going to talk about the different kinds of psychosocial activities that we will be needing on the implementation of face-to-face -face classes on Monday. So let's do this. Start with, let me read to you the memorandum released last March 15, 2022 in which the subject is Orientation and the Facilitation of Psychosocial Support to Learners for the Expanded Implementation of Face-to-Face -face Learning Modality. According to the Joint Memorandum Circular No. 1 Series of 2021 titled Operational Guidelines on the Implementation of Limited Face-to-Face -face Learning Modality, Schools shall devote the first hour of the first five school days to discuss modules related to mental health. This will be facilitated by their classroom advisors or designated teachers. Psychosocial support activities should be integrated with in-class activities as needed for at least two weeks or until learners are more adjusted to the classroom setting. So what do we mean when we say psychosocial? So psychosocial is composed of the two words psycho, it means logical, so it refers to the mind and the soul of a person. This involves internal aspects such as feelings, thoughts, beliefs, attitudes, and values. And for the social, it refers to a person's external relationships and environment. This includes interactions with others, social attitudes and values and culture, and social influences of family, peers, school, and community. And based on a recent post on Manila Bulletin, so the first week of classes to focus on psychosocial support activities according to DepEd. So to help ensure that the mental health and well-being of learners are prioritized as the country transitions back to in-person classes, the DepEd has instructed schools to conduct psychosocial support activities when classes start next week. Hindi lang yung preparedness ng ating infrastructure pero yung mental wellness ng ating mga learners at pati mga guro. That's what we're expecting in the first week said Depp Ed spokesperson Michael Powa told the Manila Bulletin in an interview. There are plenty of ways to provide psychosocial support such as recreational and educational activities. Here's a quick rundown of the activities you can do. Arts and crafts, drama and puppet performances, storytelling, sports, playing games, singing, musical instruments and dance classes, awareness campaigns and seminars skill training, counseling, psychological first aid. So here are some of the psychosocial activities that probably may help you in your first week of classes. So specifically, mga games na di ang include ko mga mams and sirs. So of course, first day of classes, we're going to have the introduction. So you introduce yourself part. So you can have activities just like this. You write the name of the learner, then you have the petals there for his or her characteristics, and so on and so forth. So here are some of the activities that involves to the introduce yourself. You can also have situations like this. So what do you feel when? And you do have certain situations there for them to answer. At the same time, you're going to have also the um, give me five so, depende da sa'yo mo kung ano da. At least, bala ang mga bata, kahit paano mo, mamalingaw sila. Hindi nga pagka first day of school, mahadlok ka na sila nga. Ay, ka-terror sa mga teacher, no. You can also prepare icebreaker sentences or questions there wherein probably bingi mo bingi instruction. If they agree, they're going to stand up. If they are not relate or they can't relate with that certain sentence, they're just going to sit. Or, pwede man nga if they knew already, bala sa mga classmates niya, you let their classmate describe him or her. For arts naman, pwede man nga makreate sila sa ilang collage, words to live by having a collage or color your feelings. So, just like that. You may also provide illustrations wherein they're going to describe it. May anakada ang matching type kind of test. Tang twisters, uh, let me try one. Of all the felt I ever felt, I never felt a piece of felt which felt as fine as that felt felt when first I felt that felt hats felt. You can also have math facts bingo, the stand up sit down. So there's the instructions provided there. So ikaw na lang na bahala mag-discuss sa mga sudyante. 
can also have this game nga kick it we're in you're going to guess words nga related sa ginghatag na sa may pinakauna nga word we're in may mga clues na da so you guess the word rhyming words synonyms and antonyms different kinds of riddles so here are example of riddles so kung manotis notice mga mams and sirs though ang almost kung ang mga examples here is for math because I'm a math teacher. Picture puzzler wherein you're going to guess the thought of a given statement using pictures. You may also have brain trick games just like this one. So, may tatlo ka balls. Ano da ang ibutang mo ka para mag-equal siya sa 30 at the same time sa colors wherein you're not going to read kung ano ang nakabutang word but the color itself we can also let our students sing so I do prepared here for songs nakita ko ni siya while I've searched on google so pwede nyo gini siya magamit let's try balake daw ka sadya so we do have place value and the tune is Mary had a little lamb see the numbers right to left right to left right to left See the numbers right to left, now what is their place? See the numbers ones, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds. See the numbers ones, tens, hundreds, now you know their place. Perimeter, area, and volume song. The tune is London Bridge. First, you add up all the sides, all the sides, all the sides. First, you add up all the sides to find the perimeter. Then, you multiply length times width, length times width. Length times width, then you multiply length times width, and that's the area. Volume is what fills things up, fills things up, fills things up. Volume is what fills things up. It's length times width times height. May duwa pa tani ka songs kaling daw na huya na ko. Char, tapos ko kan tahon ton, may huya ako no. Okay, so kamo na lang na bahala, sang tono tono ha. We can also use various types of brain teasers as our way of giving activities. So here are examples of brain teasers. Let's see how smart are you. So how many triangles are there? So you do have the illustrations there. And you're going to guess how many triangles ang makita da. You do also have much stick puzzles. And you guess the top view of a given pyramid. Riddles and codes, so may mga clues, then may mga corresponding numbers, wherein ang mga numbers nga na may corresponding nga letters man nga nakabutang. Find the words or even correct equations on the given grid. Charades or even math charades, so you're going to pick a certain word, you're going to act and you're going to guess ang mga classmates yung mag-guess ang ilang award based on your actions and more brain teasers so I do have your examples for math so the ang ariho ka nami may siya nga example ang may mga illustration sa mga fruits wherein may equal siya sa ulihi then you're going to guess kung ano na siya ang value sa kada illustration so that's it so oh yes I think I'm gonna end my video na lang with this so, here are only some of the psychosocial activities that we're going to have on the opening of classes. There are so many, many pagid. So, kanya-kanya ni pakulo mga mams and sirs para ma-interact ang aton mga kabataan kag mabuhayan ng loob, kag ma-motivate sila nga mag-learn. Yes, let's do this mga mams and sirs. So, preparations for face-to-face -face classes. I know nga hindi lang mga sudyanti ang excited subong, but also as teachers. So, let's do this. Good luck, the best of luck on the coming school year, 2020-2023. So, hope that you have like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. So, again, this is Mam Sheena. Thank you so much. Bye!